Hey, how's it going there folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night. It is the Earthmaster out here about 5.36 p.m. California time, 7.36 p.m. here Central time. And do have some activity stirring up in California once again, right on the San Jacinto Mountain Ranges here at the southern end, right around the San Jacinto Fault Zone, the ANSA section. Did see some earthquake activity stirring up here in the last hour or so. Looks like it kicked off with a 3.4 and a couple other smaller quakes in there as well near Oasis, California. Fairly deep, about 10 to 11 kilometers or so underneath this area. Of course, with, on the, with all the ongoing earthquake activity out here recently with swarms everywhere, still uh, advisable to keep an eye here on the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault as uh, things could still uh, turn out that we may see something bigger out here with all this movement going on. Also a little bit of activity here near Brawley Seismic Zone. Uh, that earthquake activity coming in today as well. So some movement here just off the Brawley Seismic uh, Zone here, this fault system. Uh, into Northern California, we did see some earthquake activity into the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. Got a pretty good earthquake swarm going on up here. Of course, this is very common, uh, but we did see a four-pointer. There's, there's so many quakes here today. Over almost 200 earthquakes it looks like in the last 24 hours but we did see a 4.5 earthquake in the mix here of earthquakes and um, there's quite a bit of hydrothermal plants out here and man do they have a bunch going on out here near this hydrothermal plant so these earthquakes are very common again and uh, but we don't normally see these earthquakes in the four range like that so definitely some type of elevated activity out here uh, if we look at the last 30 days, you'll see that earthquakes are super common out here. It's probably going to slow the computer down here with so many quakes. Uh, there we go. We got uh, about 1,400 earthquakes here in the last 30 days. So very common out here, but it does look like there's an area of interest out here that's showing more earthquake activity than... Uh, others, including that 4.5 out here today. So we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Definitely uh, some movement going on out here in Northern California. Keep an eye on the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone as well. I don't think it's been updated yet. Uh, probably be updated a little bit later on, but we have been noticing quite a bit of tremor leading to increasing earthquake activity there into the uh, Northern California region. Aside from that, uh, really no major movement going on out here across the rest of the globe, uh, some deep activity stirring up, but really nothing major. Uh, 540 kilometers for 4.7 there into the Tonga Trench. Uh, the big island of Hawaii still seeing some earthquake activity out here, mainly just south of the Kilauea Summit region. Really nothing of major change there for now. Uh, space weather activity, let's go over here to the solarham.net or .com site. And uh, still forecasting potentially a G2 class storm here on the gen, uh, June 10th time period. So that's going to be uh, UTC time. The current UTC time is um, 6 8 23 33. 3 3 3 right there. Pretty interesting. So we'll cover this a little bit better uh, tomorrow and see if um, we don't get some auroras out here on that time period. Here is the forecast here, tonight's forecast, not a whole lot. Here's tomorrow's ranging from, looks like maybe up around the four or so. But it should be um, on Monday night here, sometime on the day on Monday when things could start kicking up a little bit further. But uh, this is for uh, tonight, tomorrow night here, Sunday night right here. So we'll keep an eye on things. Uh, really no major events taking place yet aside from the ongoing proton event that we got there across the polar regions uh, looks like a little bit of flaring going on off, off on the western limb and um, yeah just I mean we're losing a large sunspot here 3697 is now much further out here on the western limb and there's really not a whole lot left here to watch in terms of super complex sunspots out here all right, folks, I am going to call it. Um, pretty tired, been out here in the Gulf swimming for a few hours, so just wanted to get an update in. I'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later. Stay safe, everyone, and um, I'll just be.
be on guard out here along the west coast.